What's going on guys, it is Galazio here, welcome back to another episode into the Newport County series guys, this is episode 5 and we are entering the summer transfer window deadline and we are in the thick of things right now, there is no other way to put it, of course we've offered new contracts as well, so lots going on this episode guys, so what are we going to be doing? Is looking for the side. We're going to be seeing who we are going to be selling potentially and who we could be potentially bringing into the side. Let me show you my transfer shortlist. So, my shortlist is looking like this anymore. It's Sterling, Odegaard, Rashford, a lot of players which we are kind of on the verge of signing. We were, and then we kind of put on the back for like Bellerin is a player which I am really keen to bring in, but he is going to cost us around 60 million pounds on the top end of things but he does have a release clause of 53 million so we could easily bring him in but he is 28 years old 85 rated we have just bought in a right back that means he'd be our third right back in three seasons so is that an opportunity that we do take but we are looking potentially sell a couple of players we are we do have to meet some objectives so let's have a quick of our objectives for a quick moment let's get to the office and uh, let's see what our team is actually trying to say to us. So, of course, we've got 20 million to actually spend. A lot of you have been suggesting players in the comment section. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, we need, to, of course, Youth, Youth Academy. We're going to get that sorted today as well. Brand exposure, what's saying one critical player? And we've done that. Increase the season ticket holders by 10%. So, we do that by winning games, signing players. Hopefully, the signing of Werner recently will do that for us. Continent success. Quarterfinals are you ready for Champions League? Oh, my gosh. We need to get out of the group and win off his two games. Mental. Premier League spot, UEFA. Europa League spot, which is kind of back from where we were last year. We want to be winning the Premier League, hopefully. And an FA Cup round 16, which is kind of nice to take the pressure off us. Finish the season with £18 million unspent allocation funds. So technically, I've only got £5 million to spend. So maybe I should really just focus on my youth academy side of things. We'll figure that all out this episode. We'll see who come, who, we might sell a couple of players as well. Of course, increase our club value by 20% within two seasons. We are 70% of the way there already because we've signed... Sold a lot of players. We have changed this side up quite a bit. I have to say the value of this side has probably gone through the roof. Um, which is absolutely brilliant. Let me just go jump on the finances quickly. Because we are looking. I'm going to show you. Look at this. Werner, Madison, Bennett all selling shirts. Player wage is just under a million quid a week. Um, our wage is going to buy five grand from last week. Which is, I don't know why that is. Ticket earnings, that's doing well. So I love looking at shirt sales. Bennett, Madison, Werner. Wow. Werner, top of the list at the moment, uh, which is absolutely brilliant. Of course, Werner again and again and again and again. So absolutely brilliant there. Barcelona, we played recently. 88k travel costs. That is mental. Um, but anyway, right. Werner, you see there, we signed recently. Of course, we have brought in a lot of players this season. We are going to look at that later on in the episode. But what I'm going to do right now, before we move ahead... I am going to sim forward a little bit because you would have seen at the end of the last episode we had a transfer coming in for Van Hersen. And I'm going to start off this episode saying that he isn't going to sell. Um, unfortunately, the deal didn't go through. We were very close to actually proceeding with that deal, but unfortunately nothing came of it. Of course, we got an offer for a left back. Wow. £24 million. Pounds. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to actually delegate this. And I'm going to say, if you can sell him for, let's say, 34 million, because that's a, that's a, wow. Start off at 39, and then I will have enough set. I think that's above his value. What's he actually worth? I'm not sure what he's worth. I'm sure he's worth at the round 36, which is the top end. But this guy is one of the best left backs in the game, or the best left back, which is brilliant. So let's advance forward. Let's see what they actually say. I'm going to give you an update on the league table in a moment's time. So a quick look, let's see what this message is. Loan offer for Hugh Davis. Oh, this is one of the new Youth Academy prospects we've brought into the side. He's only 60 rated. Another Davis added to the side. This is mental, honestly. And the other, we got Sean, you and Hugh. Or Davis. Brilliant. Um, right, let's loan this guy out because we want to... We, I, the problem I have with loans, they fail so often. I don't know if you guys experience this in your games, but all the time they just seem to fail and not happen. But anyway, hoping that deal will actually come through. Right, okay, let me show you the lead tail before we advance forward. Of course, we left you um, as we were top of the table. 12 points playing Man Manchester City just behind us, and it is literally identical uh, Manchester City, we are only top because we scored more goals than Manchester City. 
Um, and uh, they've scored one goal less. They've conceded one goal less than us, but we've scored 13 goals and they have scored 12. So really strong there for us. I'm not too sure. Oh, the goal difference for Spurs is nine. So three teams joint first at the minute. It's going to be a really interesting start to the season. Brighton is almost there. Unfortunately, they drew their most recent game. And uh, they are unbeaten as well. Chelsea still unbeaten as well this season. Newcastle unbeaten this season. And the rest are dropping points. Let's have a look see who's actually bottom the table. I never really looked down here because I'm never there. But we got West Ham, Bristol, Watford. Kind of no surprise there with the likes of Bristol City kind of hovering down here. A little shot by West Ham and Watford. Thought they would have done a little bit better. But hey, you cannot complain when you're top of the table. But anyway, let's advance forward. Let's see if any other players will sell. What we're going to be sorting out as well, when the deadline date is over, I'm going to sort out all the... Um, the player numbers as well, because a lot of you have suggested sort out the player numbers. So we are going to be looking at that. Let's have a look. Um, I don't think I don't think it actually shows on our thing that we've brought anyone in because obviously we signed them all in January. Let's find Newport. I've gone the complete long way around right now. As you can see there, we brought in Werner. We haven't sold anyone, which to be fair with the players that we do have, I think is really solid considering we haven't actually sold anyone. But we've got full message coming into. Loan offer rejected again. Happening all the time. Absolutely unreal. Transfer offer for Conor Beck. <gasps> Manchester City have offered 112 million. That's under his value. That's under his value. Right. This is what we're going to do. Let's delegate this. And I'm going to say two. I'm going to say 300 million. Let's just see if he sells. Let's just see if he sells that because I really don't want to sell him. And then let's put it at 205. I know for a fact they're going to decline. But can you imagine we had that budget? That would be crazy. But let's see, let's see if they're off. Um, Baker as well. We're going to hopefully loan out. We've had an offer come back. 35 million. Oh, oh, right. Okay. That means I need a left back. Have I got a left back in my thing? No. I got a right back. We could have better income in, actually. Oh, my gosh. Cas He's a brilliant left back as well. 35 million we could potentially sign for. That's probably around 28 million we're going to get back on the actual uh, thing and on the situation there. But let's go to the first team side. Everyone's on international duty. This guy is 81 rated. He's 22 years old. Oh, my gosh. I'm not sure what to do. Because left back wise, I have Bella, which is currently a second string side. Let's have a look and see who we can actually bring in. Let's see if there's any le decent left backs out there. Oh my gosh, I might actually bring this guy in. Because he. It was his pace. I need someone who's actually decent pace coming down this left hand side. Where are you two? 90. Right, okay, okay, okay. We're going to add it to. So I'm going to sell my left back. And I'm going to take a gamble on trying to actually bring in someone else. Which is, let's be honest, is a big gamble. It's transfer deadline day. Let's hope. That, right, I'm going to take the gamble. That means we'll improve our site even more. Right, okay. Let's go to our messages and let's accept the offer. So that's going to put us on around 50 million or so. Um, it isn't actually going to affect us greatly on the wage front, which is the only real downside. But 35 million for a player that I paid 2 million for is insane. So I'm going to accept that offer. Bye-bye. Actually, can I pull that? I'm going to retract that offer. I know they ain't, I know they ain't gonna like accept it, but I'm I'm a little cautious because all I can think is that it, potentially they come in with like a three hundred million pound bid, and I'm like, oh my gosh, he's gotta go now. <laughs> I would have been terrified. So we got eight hours left now. We are taking a gamble, selling our left back. So Connor Bet, that's gone. That's no surprise. I'm not surprised. No surprise. Three hundred million. That would have been meant. Well, I say that mind. If a twenty year old, eighty seven rated, had one of the most prestigious footballers in the world. I'm not surprised we could sell him for that price because Neymar went. <laughs> like, it's mental. What, is he selling or no? Where's my first... Oh, where's my first team? Where's my first team? Right, okay, okay, okay. Right, deal done. 26 million. 10 million pound they took off us. 10 million pound they took off us. That, that's crazy, in all fairness. I won't lie. 10 million quid. Wow, I don't actually know if we can actually afford a left back now. I've done that and I've taken the gamble and I really don't think it's going to work out. I've done so well to get this side ready. And now I'm kind of just 
like having a laugh. Right, let's have a look. Left backs. How much are you worth? 50 million. He's 86. Five, okay, we can afford you. That's good news. This is the guy that I want, but he's worth around 50 million, which is going to cost us an absolute fortune. So, let's double check. Now, who is better? 27, 24. He's 24 years old. You know what? Going for the buy. We're going for it. Come on, lads. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. The thing is, though, we couldn't have Van Hersen sell as well because he potentially could be leaving a club. Oh, my gosh. I am super nervous. Why have I done this? Okay, we got a brand new house. We are having a chin wag with uh, Frank Lampard. Hi, Frank. How are you doing, son? How's uh, Chelsea like treating you by the looks of things? You are signing some very good players right now. So let's go in with a... How much money have we got? 42 million. Oh, my gosh. I haven't got enough to sign him. Let's go in with a 45 million pound offer. Right, I can't do that because meaning I won't have enough money. 40 million. Add a sell on clause of 15%. Submit off. I got a feeling they're going to kick off. I really do. I really think they're going to kick off. 59 million. Really don't have that budget. We're going to have to do some tough negotiation skills right now. Let's have a look. This guy would have been insane to actually bring him to the side. Let's go 41. Let's just edit this quickly. I hate when it does this, when it puts all the budget on there. Yeah, like, I'm going to offer all my budget. No, I'm not EA. Let's have a look. That leaves us with around a million pound left. 51. They've dropped it. They've dropped it. Um, I can't offer that. What don't you understand? Oh, wait there. Oh, I can't. I was gonna. I was gonna potentially chuck Van Hersen into the deal. That could have been a really good swoop, actually. I think. Let's just add this down. Let's go down to forty-two. This is literally my final offer. I think I've uh, I've ruined this particular deal. This would have been an insane deal, mate. I I didn't. I don't think about it now. I should have really considered chucking Van Hersen in there as a player. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh! They've completely dropped it. They've completely dropped it down to forty-four million. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I accepted it. I got no money though to pay for his wage. This is a big issue though. I got no money to pay for his wage. I brought in a 44 million pound left back and I have no money. What's our wait? What's our wait to do it? He's completely near. Uh... Oh my gosh. Right, okay. I don't want to go into the negotiations just yet. I need to wait for a player or something to sell. Just to see what actually goes on. Because we're in a big issue right now. I want to save it. Let's just save it for a moment. And let's just see. Oh my gosh, I'm really nervous. Let's just advance an hour. And let's see if anything comes out of it. Because we could have a player sat and that could have up that could up our budget a little bit. Right, okay. No, it's not, is it? Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I've completely ruined this deal. I've completely ruined the deal. Ah! Okay, 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 oh my gosh, right, okay, let's get a chance to have, let's just see what we can do, what's his wage? 125 million, right, 125 grand, let's negotiate, Let, let's go on in here, let's, whoo, I'm, uh, you know what, I'm taking a gamble, you guys, I'm taking a big gamble, and, um, yeah, let's hope uh, this kind of pulls off. Oh, I love how he's got the tea ready. Here we go. I think he's we sneak on to Inter Milan, if I'm correct. Critical squad role, of course. This guy's taking the lead, which is Brill. Four-year contract. Happy enough to accept that. Let's skip forward. No release clause. I'm happy enough to accept that. Let's have a look at the wage. Oh, no. Right, okay. I'm going to go with a really, really, really low ball offer of around 90 grand. And then... A 500,000 signing bonus. Let's give him a 300 grand signing. 300. Let's do 350 signing bonus. Oh my gosh. This ain't going to work out, is it? If he takes a 40 grand wage cut, that is like next level. How much can I add? Oh, I can add quite a bit. Let's put it, like, right down, like, 150 grand for five appearances. Let's have a look. Oh, my goodness. I think I think he's literally just going to kick off. Um, this sim. 
We've got him. We've got him. Have I overpaid? Have I completely overpaid? I think I've completely overpaid for him. I genuinely think I've completely overpaid for him. What a deal. I think that's a swoop. Don't you think that's a swoop? Do you think that's a swoop? I think that's a swoop. Where's my first team? We've just improved the side. Once again. Where you at? Oh my gosh. What a left back. 24 years old. Of course, two years older than the previous left back we had. But look at the rating. We got 86 rated. Wow. What a side this is turning out to be. All our players, but our defense. I'm sure our defense in. I must not be qualified. And Madison. I was I was in Madison in the England squad. Someone tell me we got we got 99 pace. He's at a very attacking left back, which is probably something that we do need. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, wow, wow. What a deal. Wow, I did not expect that to happen. We've completely just blew our budget. Maybe I've potentially overpaid. I don't know, but you know what? Clearly. Fringpo, is, is that his name? I forgot what his name is. Clearly wants to join our side because he's just lurking on my screen right now. But there he is. We completed the sign. Oh, no, that, oh that's a uh, new centre-back. We have just spent... How much have we spent this season? Who have they brought in? Ah, oh, they haven't brought in anyone. Who... I, oh, I completely lost Newport. Where's Newport? Newport, where are you two? Let's have a look. How much have we spent? Hundred and eleven million pounds this season, and we bought, spent, we sold around thirty-five million. The thing is, us men, we sold, we we spent hundred and eleven million pounds, but we've only we brought in so many players for that price. We brought in around four hundred million worth players. Okay, here we go. This is looking good. I think we've just completely ruined our objectives from doing this. Like, I wanted to kind of look at our objectives and think, oh, you know what, this is good. We were going to sit to it. But there it is. The final whistle is going to blow for transit deadline day. There it is. First day, the 31st of August. And it is done and dusted. This advance here. Transfer window done. Youth squad report. Brell. Brell. Scouted players. Oh, what? 100. This mad that I have 10% of our budget. That 10. Another Bennett. Oh, I forgot about you. Oh, we got Sam Cooper. Let's. Pro oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. I don't want to promote you to the senior team. Ah, oh, I'm getting it. Get it. I am going to have to focus on my youth side, I think, very, very soon. I think that's a thing that I'm going to have to do. But let's have a look at this side. Let's take a look. Oh, my goodness. This is Brel. He's 87 rated now already. We just saying he's 87 rated. He's one of the highest rated players. He is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, the fifth, fifth higher, highest rated player in the side. And, of course, our centre-back's just gone up to 81, which is Brill. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely amazing. Right, let's let's sort out our squad numbers. Right. Okay. Let's just go by positions. And where is change kit number? Okay, of course, we, we want to get all this done. We want to make it all professional. We want our starting 11 team to actually have new numbers. Oh, black. John... My save is super laggy, guys. I do apologize if you're watching this and you're like, what on earth is he doing? Number two is fine. There. Uh, where is our left bats? Okay. Our center bats even. Let's do one, two, four, five, three. Yeah, that's fine by me. I might be enough to do that. Let's save. Boom, boom, boom. Lewis Travis is now. Was now oh, yeah, I had Lewis Travis as number four, didn't I? Let's change to number five. Well, uh, ever starting 11 semi. Who was number five? I'm interested to see who it was. It was. Oh, I thought we sold him. I thought we sold out that semi. Oh, we didn't. He's actually a second choice semi. Okay, I thought we sold him. I'm, I'm clearly completely wrong. Me, so. Uh, yeah, I think. Or was you number three? Yeah, Luke Matheson was number three originally, so let's change into number three. Absolutely brilliant. Right, okay, let's... You and Davis, I quite like him being number 14. <laughs> that might sound weird. I think that's his number now. I'm going to leave him the same. Sean Davis, number 11. That's absolutely fine. We'll leave him as it is. And let's have a quick look. I forgot we got you out on loan. You must be doing really well. Oh, your form's poor? Oh, you ain't going to be coming back. Oh, look at me. <laughs> Guys, we've, we've literally got a full page of people on now. Right, okay. Matheson... I think we'll be on number eight. I think it's the best way to put it. He's going to be on number eight. Tyler Bailey is currently number eight. 
Why is there random youth players? It's always that, isn't it? It's like random youth players. The Connor Bennett, number 10. No surprise there. Um, Dreyer, I want to see how you're doing as well. I hope you're doing well. Toby Watson, of course, you're so doing when we come and start and Player Dot, you number 7. No surprise there. Let you know if we got that sorted. And Timo Werner, we want to be changing to number 9. I think... Uh, who's number 9 in this squad? Javier Luis Suarez. That's no surprise because he was a starting 11 player. That's why we switched it up. But we've just changed all the size. Happy a diddly days. There it is. It's actually organized this by the numbers now. And you'll be able to see who's actually in the starting 11. So let's just organize this quickly. Um, oh, yeah. Of course, it's, it's going to be people who aren't assigned a number. Let's have a quick let this go down. As you see there, all black. We got a brand new left back there coming in. Matheson. Mafio. That's uh, number three. Tobio. And then we've got Milan as uh, four and five. Uh, Bailey's still number six. Uh, don't know why that's up like that. Oh, yeah, because T uh, we didn't change, what do you call it? Uh, what's his face? Ewan Davis. Um, Madison, number eight. Timo Werner, number nine. Conor Bennett, number 10. Sean Davis, number 11. Uh, number 14, we have Davis. And, of course, we have Doc at number seven. So our start 11 is looking really, really strong, guys. We have made it. We're at the end of this transfer deadline day special. And I want to say thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all did enjoy it. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Of course, if you want to see more from me. Because I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for all your amazing support. But we are playing Palace next episode, guys. I really cannot wait to share this episode. It'll be interesting to see what actually happens with the side. Um, how well are we going to do? We've just strengthened the side again. We've added the extra depth. We've improved on where we needed to improve on. Kind of a, one of our weakest links, in all fairness. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens. But anyway, my name is Brian. So thanks for watching. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I'll see you.